Continuing coverage now of a story we first brought you here at 5 on News 4. A college chaplain and upstate minister is off the job tonight. Police tell us he beat his son and made him clean up his own blood. WYFF News 4's Liz Loheis with our report tonight from Gaffney. The family of Limestone College chaplain Ron Singleton asked us to leave their home when we tried asking them about this police report. Ron Singleton would not like to say anything at this point? He's not here. Police say they were called to Gaffney High School on Friday for a child with visible swelling and bruising. That child told school officials his father beat him. According to the report, 52 year old Ron Singleton hit his son several times in the head and face, then held him down on the floor with his foot. The report also says Singleton made his son clean up his own blood. I think it's, especially with everything going on on the mainstream, uh, you cannot put your hands on kids nowadays. Limestone student Michael Newcomb says the allegations are disturbing. And hitting them in the head and uh, leaving marks on them, then you're definitely drawing a fine line. According to Limestone College, Singleton has been with the school since 2004. He is also a minister at Limestone Street United Methodist Church. The president of the college declined an on camera interview but sent us this statement. We are aware of the incident involving Ron Singleton. I have suspended Mr. Singleton without pay from Limestone College pending the outcome of the case. It's on the school now to what they do. So I think all eyes are on them. Liz Lohais reporting for us tonight. Singleton has been released from jail on bond. DSS workers were told have outlined a 45 day safety plan for the family, and the parents are allowed supervised visitation with their children.